And I have joining me a public affairs analyst, Ahmed Tijani, mm. to talk about activities of the Ninth Assembly. He joins me virtually from Abuja. Good to have you join us. So one of the um, one of the metrics, or, or about three of the metrics, often used to to measure the performance of the House or of just generally the Parliament, um, would be representation, um, lawmaking, and oversight. Now, in regard of these metrics, how, how would you say, or how would you assess the the Ninth House of Assembly? Well, I think Ninth of Assembly did exceptionally well. You know, um, like the speaker said in, in your report, how effective they were in passing bills, and not just uh, bills for the sake of passing. These bills are bills that absolutely affected the lives of ordinary Nigerians. Uh, one, one of such bills would be the Electoral Act and uh, the PIB or PIA, as it is most often called. You know, these are bills that have been. Uh, Be, be passed, you know. So it's it's if you judge the ninth assembly uh, vis a vis what we had with the eighth or the seventh assembly, then one would be it would be absolutely disingenuous not to score uh, the ninth house of assembly excellently well when it, in regards to the actual work of legislative legislation. What the ninth assembly lacked uh, was the drama and the uh, rhetoric that that Nigerians have come to associate with. Uh, the legislative. I think the leadership of uh, Right Hon. Bayamela was able to focus majorly on uh, the specific duties of, of legislative, which is uh, lawmaking, without uh, the clownish and uh, caricature dramas that we most often times associate with uh, the, the, the na National Assembly. There were no uh, fights here and there, no chairs thrown, no mace stealing, nothing of sort. And it lacked that uh, traditional drama that Nigerians have become as associated, uh, accustomed to. And so many people, mm. most of times, felt that the Ninth Assembly did not do well enough. I, I, I am of the opinion that the Ninth Assembly did excellently well, again, without this unnecessary drama. Mm. And, 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 I, and I get that point. But, you know, a, a lot of Nigerians will often... Or most times when you talk about you know all of these bills, whether it's the Electoral Act, the Constitutional Review, um, the Petroleum Industry Act, which a lot of people have said look are quite commendable, but all of these often are often eroded by this narrative that the Ninth um, National Assembly um, was more of a rubber stamp um, assembly, and most times people will cite how quickly um, they were um, or how quick they were they, they were in approving all of those loans. For the former president, I want to get your thoughts on that. You know, the idea of the Ninth Assembly or the Ninth National Assembly being um, a rubber stamp assembly. Well, I think that's a bit. It's honestly really harsh the criticism of Ninth Assembly being um, rubber stamped. The, the reason is because, like I said, I just have become used to the idea of the Assembly or, or, or the, the Senate or the House of Reps fighting, uh, being at loggerheads is what I'm looking for with the executive. And once that does not happen. We assume that the, the, the assembly is rubber stamped, and that's not the case. And the reason is this because the assembly is supposed to work hand in hand with the executive, it's not always supposed to be at loggerheads. If, if that's the case, then we make very little or no progress at all. So, what this assembly did was to focus on nation building again without this drama. You talk about the loans that were approved for, for the government to, to um, execute certain projects, were those projects critical to? Uh, the development of Nigeria. Yes, absolutely. So I agree. You know, we didn't have this issue where the the, the National House of Assembly, uh, whether at the House of uh, Reps level or the Senate level, were cutting budget. There wasn't budget padding. There was none of none of one of that uh, theatrics in all of this. And so, you know, Nigerians seem to have, have come to associate um, the the drama and the antagonism uh, of the executive by the National Assembly. As a sign, the National Assembly is actually doing what it's supposed to do. The, the duty of the National Assembly is to um, check the, the executive, but by checking them, you don't have to ground government to a halt to do your. To but, do but, your the, but the idea and, of check and balance—I um, mean, the idea of check and balance—isn't it? Isn't it sometimes confrontational 
do you, I mean, because I'm asking because you have talked about, you know, the, the fact that there was no drama and people expected to see that kind of drama and grinding um, activities to a halt. But, you know, people felt like, look, we didn't see that check and balance. There were two, as we went out with a ministerial, um, ministerial, um, um, what was it called? It called screening, or whether it's with the, the, the approval the of, the, of mm -hmm. loans. There was just no check and balance, and it, it was too easy. Um, doesn't that sort of amount to what people are saying when it comes to when it comes to um, being a robber, robber staff? No, I, I don't want to agree. I think Nigerians are used to stress, and so if something is not stressed, so we think it's not worth the process. If you look at our educational system, for instance, students want to go to school and they want to get uh, into the halls, and the lecturers are stressed. If you don't do that. And then they say, oh, you, did, you, you didn't go to university, you didn't pass through the rigors. But the American system or the British system which you borrowed from has shown us that things can be done effectively without all of this um, drama, without all of the stress that, that, that are associated with it. Again, you look at um, how effective the Ninth House of Assembly, uh, um, National Assembly was, and you must give them absolute credit for focusing primarily on their job. It's not their job to frustrate the executive, their job to check and balance, and that can be done absolutely very diplomatically without uh, throwing down trumps. And that's what we must begin to um, look forward to, even with the Tenth Assembly, where there is a handshake between the executive and uh, the National Assembly to the benefit of 200 million Nigerians. If we want this situation where the, the National Assembly mm. and the executive are loggerheads, then we will make very little progress. Our, our democracy is quite nasty, and so I understand Nigeria is getting used to the idea of. Um... Well, I'm, I'm I'm sure that you know um, Nigerians will remember the the Ninth National Assembly for at least two things, if nothing else, the Electoral Act and the Petroleum Industry Act. Thank you so much for talking to us, um, Public Affairs Analyst Ahmed Tijani.